So why am I traveling an hour and a half north, cross state lines? We are crossing state lines today. What's up, Key Nation? Today we're doing something very exciting. We are driving an hour and 30 minutes north to get something for Zach. It is his birthday. He is turning 27 years old. So we're about to get into the car and go to our favorite grocery store, Lidl. Ding. So some of you may know or remember that we really love grocery stores, especially Lidl. It's kind of very similar to an Aldi. It's a German-based grocery store. They have amazing products. We really got used to buying and enjoying their products while we were in Eastern Europe. Yeah. And it just brings us so many good memories to like reminisce about those items. So today I'm going to go try and find those items here in the United States. We have no idea if we're going to be able to find them. We're looking for specifically a gingerbread cookie that is covered in chocolate, shaped into a star, and I think it has some jelly in the middle. It is so good. We are going to go try and find it right now. Let's go. So I feel genuinely bad that Zach and I won't be together on his birthday, his 27th birthday. Not that that's a really big deal because 27 is just like in the middle between your quarter life crisis and your 30s. So hopefully a package in the mail will be sufficient. And yes, I could go to Aldi's and I could probably get the same thing that I'm about to go get at Lidl. And we have an Aldi's in my hometown, so it would have taken like 20 minutes tops. But I'm making this drive. right now remembering what we did for Zach's birthday last year. We happen to be on a boat going from Finland to Sweden. It happens to be Zach's birthday. He's turning 26. Happy birthday. So, thank you. so it was like an overnight like cruise, like the first like overnight trip we've ever taken on a boat. It was really cool. Oh, hold on, I gotta shift. And when we got into our Airbnb that night, our first night in Stockholm, we went to Lidl. And we got our little stuff. Time for dinner. I can't believe this is what I'm doing this year. And last year we like almost did the exact same thing except for the whole cruise thing and we're like separated by states this time and it's a pandemic. So there's a lot to, there's a lot of difference. Success! Oh my gosh, it's so foreign! It's like an Aldi's. I passed an Aldi's while driving here, like not even a minute ago, and I was really concerned that maybe Google Maps had gotten it wrong and there was no Lidl here. But we're here! We're here! So I actually have some pretty low hopes that I'm going to find what I am looking for here because this is the United States and it is not Europe and they might not have it. I'm looking for something very specific, but we're gonna try and find it. Though. We sure love scoop waffles, but that is not it. We are looking for a gingerbread thing covered in chocolate filled with jam. How hard can it be? And as I'm going through the store looking for Zach and his birthday present, I'm literally getting distracted by so many good things like chocolate espresso beans. Okay, so I would hope that this is where they would have it, but I have not been able to find it yet. And I'm getting worried. This is such a fail. This is such a fail. I cannot believe they don't have it. I mean, I should have believed it, but I can't believe it. All right, I will compromise. If I cannot find the cookies, at least let me find the lasagna. I found it. Is it the same? No. Will I buy it? Yes. No. go as planned. I did not find what I was looking for, but I did find a lot of really fun, tasty things that I think Zach will really enjoy. 
I actually have the notion that I should probably stop at Aldi just to make sure that they don't have a similar product for what I was looking for. I know, I know what I said about cheating on Lidl. I didn't, I don't mean to, it's just, what am I supposed to do right now? Bye. Love you. The enemy. Please don't have it, please don't have it. Please don't have it. Okay. So I couldn't find it there either, which is actually like a blessing. <laughs> I am both sad and relieved at the same time and I felt so weird going out of the store without buying anything that I actually bought something because I didn't want them to think I was stealing and I used her bathroom whatever okay this whole trip was not for nothing it was not for not we were getting something for Zach's birthday we just didn't get what we wanted that's okay so now we're heading home we're gonna package up his entire birthday present and ship it off So I can put this in a box. It will hopefully fit all of it. So I'm trying to fit everything in this box. I hope it fits. It might be too much room. I don't know what to do. We done did it. We bring it to the place. All right, so we have dropped off the package. All we can do now is wait and hope that it gets there in six days. <laughs> I forgot to mention that in the card I wrote, this present took me on a little adventure of my own, not as big as traveling to all seven continents. Nailed it. <laughs> She found a little. I am so surprised. I'm going to eat all of this for my birthday. I don't even know if I'll put this on the cake she sent me because this is my favorite frosting. I'll probably just eat it with a spoon. This is not good. I've been trying to lose a couple pounds, but this package definitely is going to make me gain a couple pounds. Thank you guys for watching. <laughs>